I downloaded every single siren head I could find and I saved the best for last. This right here is me, a normal ordinary human who's uh, tasked with the whole purpose of finding every siren head he could find. And there's actually a whole bunch of them and they are pretty insane. This right here is a normal ordinary siren head and he would be much larger than this. But he does have some nice big pointy claws rubbing my head a little bit, no big deal. I don't know if this is how siren head normally is, but he can't actually Actually, like kind of poke down he <laughs> can smack him right in the face that's always good and then you can kind of come up from behind and give him a nice little shank right in the booty uh what the heck he's lit my I'm, I'm literally impervious to damage so we need to find a better siren head normal siren head is lame we need a better one so this next siren head is probably not good to actually have around lava because he would easily get destroyed but this is wood siren head he's completely made out of wood you know he's got a different head looking pretty cool i don't do you get these guys these just get even more insane as time goes on just wait till you see it also i just realized that there's no audio and somehow uh my toe is spurting out some yellow liquid over here uh let's see let's just see what the wood siren is able to do i mean this a between a massive tree trunk at your face that's gonna hurt right so boom. oh jeez. uh i'm thinking that uh this siren head has got a little bit of a a sharp end here because that that didn't oh yeah there it is <gasps> it's hidden in there he actually isn't completely made of wood he's got other sharp points that are destroying humans look at that this one's big i think this one's bigger than the other siren head. hold on is it looking let me look at that siren head oh yeah way bigger he's way bigger now some of them are actually smaller than the other ones but uh, guys i'm telling you they're so some of them are so amazing and they're they're just way more intense this the wood siren head though uh would totally destroy this siren head because this siren head is all fleshy you know what i mean like the wood is yo come back Oh yeah, there we go. Let's see if the let's see what happens with the wood. Is it actually wood? He's just sitting on him. What happened to his legs? Is it fully wood? Oh jeez, what? Yeah, look at him catching on fire. Yep, see? Don't have a wood siren head around lava. Then he's gonna become burnt siren head. And it's gonna be even more intense insane because he's gonna be mad now. I'm sure you've all heard of the, the Yeti, the abominable snowman, Bigfoot's cousin who lives in the Arctic North. Well, I bet you didn't know that there's actually a siren head that lives there too. His name is Ice Siren Head. Oh yeah, look at him. And there is a reason why I have a flamethrower. Because we need to test and see if I can melt this siren head. Look at him, he looks a little different than the other one, doesn't he? He's got bigger sirens. He's kinda got like weird animal looking legs. It makes him so he can run through the, through the, why, wait, wait, no, these are his legs. These are his hands. Dude, he's like a gorilla. Hold on, look. He's like a weird animal. He's hanging out in the Arctic for so long. His body has completely adapted and changed to the environment. Actually, he was born here. Siren Head was born. Where did Siren Head come from? Anyway, let's see uh, what these big, gigantic hammer fists can do. Oh, yeah. Take that. Take it. Right in the jibbies. Nope, he's okay. So let me see if I can melt him. Actually, no, he's not okay. Look at his, look at his head. He's like, I'm totally okay. No big deal. <laughs> not at all. Uh, but let's see if he can melt real, <laughs> real fast. Well, okay, okay. I, I, I don't need you. Okay, you're, you're unnecessary. All we need is actually is the flamethrower. So, oh, Jesus, what the heck? It pushed him back. Wait, 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 come over here for a second. Go over, go over. Dude, what? Something broke off of him. Oh, is he? Dude, he's literally made of ice. Wait, can I melt that? Oh, what the crap? Things are exploding. Why? Wait, how is he leaking ice right now? Or whatever this is, glass? I'm so confused. Where's all this coming from? There's still more. Every time it... Dude, every time he bangs into something? What's causing it to happen? Do the other siren heads have abilities? Is it coming from his fists? Or is his body somewhere? Look at that! Just more ice just keeps coming out of him. What if I activate what if I activate him? No, okay, so 
whenever he slams into something, maybe... Oh, there's no more ice. Maybe I maybe I broke all the ice out of him. Oh, that was interesting. He's okay. Don't worry about it. He's Here, let me put some ice on you. I know. That'll cool you off, man. You can hear the noise. Listen. There is a siren head that is more uh, insane than all the other siren heads, I think. Uh, this one scares me because I don't know what it does. Actually, this one's probably not as insane as some of the other ones, but it is very terrifying. You can see occasionally some kind of black thing spurts out of here. That's because this siren head is the shadow siren head. And I have no idea what this black liquid is that's shooting out of here, but we're going to test it. Did anything happen to you? Did you touch him? Oh, it's, it's freaking me out. Hold on, let me see. He's actually a lot smaller than the other siren heads. He's got weird, like, whoa, is he floating right now? He's like, wait, he's floating. What the heck? This siren head's insane. I don't know what the shire, uh, shadow siren head does, but it can't be good. He, I did not freeze him or anything. He's literally just floating in place. What is he? What's, yo, I can't move his leg now. His leg is stuck. Why is his leg stuck? He's literally like standing in midair somehow. These legs and arms look very sharp. And so I wonder if I can actually take it and kind of put it into him. Ugh. No, this Siren Head 2 is not very good at actually attacking things. But he can consume It's like a black hole, isn't it? Is he a black hole thing? Anyway, he doesn't do anything. I don't know anything about Shadow Siren Head, but he's freaking me out. And he, he's, he's actually really, really cool. It's just I don't know what to make of him. This next Siren Head might be kind of the creepiest one of all uh just simply because of what he is he is the uh b l o o d siren head and oh my gosh he's just basically a gigantic organ what is okay that's his body what is what is happening what is what is occurring those are his legs why doesn't he stand it's even weirder that he doesn't stand oh look at his look at his le look at his rib cage area what is that? He does have sharp claw thingies that he takes and he can poke into people and then inject them with his with his liquid, with his red liquid that then transfers. It's like War of the World stuff where he, you know, can take it and then suck up all their juices and then he uses it for like material that he can feed off of later. It's weird though, right? Because it doesn't even, it doesn't stand. Do they make this do the, the other thing too? Do they make noises? Well, what the heck? Okay, he's We have to test this. I didn't even I didn't even think about testing that. I mean, he is a siren and I'd never even tested if he actually has the capabilities to siren. Also, what happens if we take this siren head since he's all red liquid and drop him into some acid? Does he perish? He's getting is electrifying. Why? What's happening? Oh, let's start with the ice one. Oh, he does it. He does that. Okay. What about this guy? Does he do anything? Oh, he doesn't do anything. See, the shadow one is so mysterious because he doesn't do anything. He's just kind of standing there. Do you do anything? Oh, he's actually sirening. Sweet. What about this guy? Did you do anything? Oh, he does that thing too. I don't know what that thing is inside there. Oh, he, he's sirening too, I think. Oh, things are getting weird. There is a siren head that is unlike all the other siren heads. This siren head is, uh, he ate a bunch of other siren heads or just mutated because this siren head is the dark siren head. And the dark siren head doesn't just have one head, but has about 10 heads. Ah, what the heck? Look, and he stands like a freaking animal ready to attack and pounce. Oh, and his, le his, his arms are so much longer. Oh, that is so... Look at those heads. That's so creepy. Um, dude, you can eat them all. That is... Re oh, look at that. Oh, jeez. The, the long arms make it even more creepy. It's just... Gross! Dude, none of them, like, actually, like, poke anything, though. Which is very upsetting. But, man, this this Iron Head definitely is... Does he, does he do anything? Does he have any other abilities? Like, there's things in his arms. He just does that. 
Oh, there's a siren on him. Okay, cool. Man, I like this thing a lot. It's freaking weird. Now, if you thought that this was all the siren heads that I had, you were right. This is the last siren head. But this video would not be uh, full if there, we didn't include the last one, which is not technically siren head, but is something beyond siren head. This is the dark siren head, which is very large compared to human. But this is something on a whole other level. This is the mama, the great mother megaphone. Oh my gosh. Look at this size difference. Yeah. Dude, great mother megaphone is gigantic. And she also has the ability to do siren. She doesn't, she doesn't uh, do that thing, but man, look at her. Look at how much bigger she is and they're like little bait little tiny baby things like come here my child i shall touch you one time right in the butt spanking for not destroying that human earlier yes oh dude well i mean look at the sheer size of this thing and i love these little green things man oh man this is a pretty cool video let me know which one of these is your favorite out of all of them uh i think the dark siren head it's probably my favorite just because it looks so creepy and weird with like the animal stands. But I mean, come on, Great Mother Megaphone. Shoot. Look at her. She's she's on a whole other level. Oh, oh crap. I actually have two other ones I totally forgot about. And it's not even over yet. You thought it was over. It was not over. This is Traffic Light Head. Look at him. Yeah, he's pretty cool. All lit up and stuff. Like normal siren head, but traffic light, obviously. This is this is the best one I could find. And then over here, look at this one. This one's totally different too. It kind of looks like Attack on Titan-ish. It's got the BLOOD type of stuff. But it's the meat grinder. The meat grinder one? Like, what the heck is that? He's pretty cool. Anyway, that's all the siren heads. I like I kinda like traffic head. He's traffic light head. He's pretty cool actually. What do you think? I think so. Do I have any other ones? Now I have to, now I have to check. Oh, dude! I do have, <laughs> I have a whole bunch! Uh, I got a light head, street light head. He looks pretty cool. Okay. I've got, uh, the mega... Dude, the, is that a mega boom? What the heck? What the heck is the... Is it mega horn or mega boom? I think it's mega horn. Mega horn. Yeah, I was like, mega boom. I've never heard of that before. Mega boom. Oh, what the heck is that thing? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I don't know what this little thing is. Oh, that's a good. Oh, that's one. This is his little face, little offspring. Dude, the mega great, the boom, the great boom. What the? He's booming. Oh, he's got the me mega, uh, mega horn. Why do I keep saying boom? Mega, mega horn. Do we have any other ones? Okay, that might be it, actually. <laughs> wow, okay. I had even more than I thought. Everything has just changed because in Melon Sandbox, there is a brand new colossal nightmare creature, the likes of which we've never seen before. This is Melon. You know, Melon, who the game's named after? Anyway, Melon was abducted by scientists, evil scientists, and they did all kinds of experimentations on him. And then the next Next thing Melon knew, he was face to face with clones, but not just any clones, Melon.exe clones. And what, look at, look at them! They're hideous! Look at these crazy faces and these black hands are getting corrupted. Anyway, good thing is, uh, Melon has a brand new uh, secret weapon. <laughs> it's, it's this thing down here. It's a bomb, and not just any bomb, but a bomb that Melon really needs to run away from. Dude, you need to go a little faster than that. This is a big bomb, man. The bomb has been triggered. Oh, what the heck? B Melon? Okay, some tells me that Melon didn't quite make it. I'm seeing watermelon juices everywhere. What the heck was that? That was way stronger than I thought. Hold on, we've got to test them. They're, they are on. There's flames now. Straight up flames. All right, hold on, let's test this. Here's a Melon EXE, okay? And here is this brand new bomb. Let's put it right there. And then all the way over here, we're gonna go ahead and drop this melon right at the water's edge. Now, let's see if the bomb 
Call Here's the bomb. I know you can't even you can't even see it because it's so far away. We're gonna slow it down. Oh my, dude! There goes the there goes that melon. He's straight up gonna hit the dude. Stop freaking out on me. It's gonna hit the wall. What about this melon? This melon get lit, like destroyed? No, he's safe. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. But the other melon, he got sent flying, and now he's just a freaking corpse over here of bone and watermelon juices look at this we got two new guys two new fruits we got a tomato which it is a fruit okay look, he's really awesome i like the tomato and then freaking dragon fruit over here look at dragon fruit dang he looks awesome what's this down here a tear no can be activated it's a tear from a giant. <laughs> An explosive one. Let's just put it that way. Uh, these two are going to test out uh, this new weapon. The freeze bomb. That says it freezes people. So let's put it in slow motion. And then let's see what happens. Oh, whoa, they did get frozen. Look at that. They froze. Wait, what? How does that even work? Dude, they're going so far from back. Oh, look at them. Straight up. Frozen. <laughs> hey, how did that happen? Look at the dragon fruit over here. Dude, they are straight frozen. They're not like... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say they're not breakable. They're definitely breakable. Okay, this is... This is not good. Can What is a dragon fruit smoothie taste like? I don't know, but we need to blend them up a little bit and see what we can make. Oh, just don't put it. There we go. That was looking good. Don't just don't put them with tomato. We don't need to get no V8 fruit smoothie over here getting ruined. You can taste it. Okay. I can taste it in there. Yeah. He is deformed and hideous. One of my favorite things in this game is corn. This is corn. Isn't he amazing? Anyway, corn is about to be replaced by super corn look at super he's so bright why is he so neon -y bright either way uh corn is not a uh, very happy let's just say that and so he's taking it upon himself to get himself a banana but not just any banana oh no this banana is a weapon bananas are weapons that some people like they just don't like them but anyway this banana shoots bullets Oh, where did super corn just go? Uh, <laughs> super corn? Uh, hey, wow. I did not expect that to happen from a banana. Problem is when you mess with one super corn, you mess with the whole family super corn. The good thing is though, this banana is pretty freaking powerful, but is it powerful enough to shoot through all these corns? Let's find out. Oh my, why is that so extreme? Look at the corns. They're destroyed. It's not every day you see a potato that's wired for fun. <laughs> it's uh, quite literally a hot potato. It's a bomb in the desert. Potato bombs in the desert. Now we just need to have something fun to play with. Oh, I know. Blueberries. Which blueberry is better? This is the original blueberry, and this is a brand new blueberry, and I gotta say... This blueberry looks pretty good. We might have a new blueberry over here. Let's <laughs> see what happens when a potato bomb explodes. We're just testing bombs today, I guess. And... Oh, wait. Hot potato. Oh. Oh! Oh! It, de it was delayed. Was that purposeful? Like a hot potato? Like you have two seconds to catch it or whatever? And then it blows up? Is that what it was? I think that might have been what it is. Let's try it again. Because I definitely activated it. Okay, and then one, two. Oh, yep. That is it. Oh, that is it. Can you imagine if the hot potato game was like that? <laughs> Jeez, that would be not good. Why are the blueberry juices yellow or green or whatever? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Normally, Eggplant would be terrified of something called the Dark Blue Monster, which looks like something straight out of Bendy and the Ink Machine. However, Eggplant has a secret weapon. You've all seen this cat gun, but you've never seen this one. What the heck? <laughs> Wait, why is he so big? And why did he just squeak? Why is he squeaking? Okay, anyway, can you grab this thing? Dude, there's no we can't grab that thing. Look at the size of it. Okay, can we just fire it at the 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 blue dude? What the what the heck? Why? 
What just occurred? Why did the cat explode into whatever just happened? <gasps> that... <laughs> this might be the most powerful thing I've seen. Why is this cat so intense? What the freaking heck is happening? This is Melon once again in a giant room for experimentation purposes. <laughs> and today it's a little different though because he's joined by something that is um, colossal in size. Unlike anything we've seen before because he is one of the tallest things that probably exists in this game and one of the largest things. This is the Beast Titan. Dude, look at this. Someone freaking made the Beast Titan. And it is obscenely old. Look at his arms. Oh, dude, Melon. You'd get so... Oh, that's exactly what would happen to you in about two seconds if the Beast Titan came around. Oh my goodness, Attack on Titan. I gotta, I gotta rewatch everything. Uh, so good. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments below what's your favorite Titan. I don't know. Beast Titan's pretty freaking sweet. But uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't... I, maybe some people have never seen it or read it, so I don't want to give any spoilers. But uh, needless to say... This beast titan is pretty stinking good. How is he standing up so well? Anyway, he wants some melon for breakfast, and so he's just gonna grab himself a little bit down here, and then he's gonna he's gonna get it on his hand, and he's gonna lick his little fingers. So the beast titan obviously is really good at throwing stuff. So can we can he some how can we get him to how can we get him to throw some? I mean, obviously you know in this game a lot of people play this game like RP style. I mean, some of the biggest freaking channels on. YouTube for like people playground and this game or like RP chain RP things, but I can't I, I don't know how you can Maybe we can RP a stone flying through the air I guess we can like always put it on his hand and then make him throw it and then like make him fling his arm And then show it flying through the air or something either way the freaking beast Titan is insanely cool and uh, I really like him and wait we gotta see if he can crush people with his feet. Let me get let me get a uh, Let me get another melon Let's just see if let's see if he can be if he can be stepped on. Some of them you can't do that with. Oh yeah, I totally can. That's right. We're making smoothies over here. One of the most amazing things with this game, Melon, is that there are a lot, a lot, a lot of monsters, and I can't show you all of them. And so today, I thought I would show you a whole bunch of them and see what you think of them. This right here is not a fan. This is not a fan. No, these is a worm this is the razor worm and i don't know what the razor worm does let's bring him over and have him i don't know maybe give you a hug do these things hurt oh whoa oh did that just snap is that some kind of trap oh he's oh he's eating him i think that that was definitely a trap and we just made a smoothie right away now what do these things do oh look it's apple he came over to check out the noise and see what was going on uh too bad for apple that was not a good idea they're hammers of some sort apple sauce in the morning for breakfast what did you think of that one melon pretty cool huh well this next one you've already seen this guy knifehead don't you remember him well, Knifehead isn't experimented on Melon in this game, not a kaiju, but Knifehead has a friend. Oh yeah, Melon. His name is Trespasser, which he looks an awfully lot like that Raiju one that we found, but he's not. Gyre. Yeah, <laughs> this is something to oh, totally different. His head, though, is definitely very pokey. Oh, Melon. Why? Is it, what about his hand? Does his hand do the same thing? Let me touch him. His hand doesn't do the same thing. What about these things on his back? They're like, oh yeah, they definitely do. They're like, I don't know, wings or something? <gasps> oh no, what happened to him? <laughs> things are getting pretty crazy over here really fast today. Melon, you're gonna get sunburned in the desert just hanging out here. But Melon's here for a reason, because Melon uh, it wants to introduce himself to this big chunky boy right here look at how big he is this is our good buddy rexy 
it's a T-Rex. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. Oh my. He's humongous. Uh, so I have a creature that I can't find. And it's a T-Rex, but mixed with a melon. And I don't know where it is, but I will find it. But I also have this Rex. And oh, he has a lot of teeth in there. More than I think he actually maybe had. And his head is so gigantic. What? He can't, he can't eat this. He can't eat melons. He's probably eating something even bigger. Oh yeah, there we go. That's, that's what I'm talking about. And for whatever reason, this T-Rex can float through the air. Wee! <laughs> Look at those stupid little arms. Uh-oh. He's going in the water. What happens if he goes in the water? Does he actually sink or he float out? <gasps> Did you know that T-Rexes can float? They're amphibious creatures. Melon has come to the rainforest. You know what you should look out for when you're in the rainforest, Melon? Snakes. And not just any old snake. No, boa constrictors, those can get pretty big. I think they can get to be the biggest ones. But what is it you really... Actually, was there a brand new one that was just found that's even bigger? Anyway, what you need to look out for are titanoboas. And I'm pretty sure that uh, a titanoboa would be... Uh, much larger maybe than this even. Titanoboa, gigantic ancient creature with gigantic mouth, able to probably easily eat and swallow whole lots of little amphibious animals and I'm sure they were snacked on and preyed upon by Spinosaurus. Actually, did they live at the same time? I have no freaking idea. Anyway, uh, Melon did not last all but two seconds against the Titanoboa and is a very dangerous creature. And why is everything that I'm messing with today causing me to lag so badly? Uh, you need to go back in your hole. Go back in your hole. Get out of here. Look at the, look at the, let me just show you something. Look at the size of the Titanoboa compared to the worm thing. So here's the razor worm and here's the Titanoboa. And here is the size difference between the two. Oh my gosh, look at this. This isn't even the longest thing I have either. I have even longer, like insanely long things. Oh, oh, Melon, do you remember the Leviathans that I've been showing you? Like the gray one and the red one, those huge things? Well, there's a black one. It's Leviathan V3, and he is freaking awesome. Look at that, his wing, he's got all these spikes on it all over his body the other ones didn't have that that's pretty cool and then checked out this face Ooh, yeah no i don't know why though he's all black but he is it's for whatever reason he can fly he's a big giant winged death worm of doom which is terrifying to think about where i grew up there were flying ants and there were lots of them I couldn't imagine if those flying ants looked like this and <laughs> could devour everything around them in one bite. I mean, think of this, okay? This is a freaking thing. Look, there's some energy pole things in the background there. This thing could eat a whole, like, five city blocks with ease and not even be this, you know, make a sweat at all it would just come and eat everything how oh, melon listen to me this next one i wanted to show you for a while but i didn't because you can't really play with him because he's super duper laggy and he's like impossible to play with but he's still called the battle monster somebody made a monster that has a bunch of weapons on him and is geared for war and uh i'd love to show him to you but i can't because he's derpy but I wonder if I can... Th okay, it didn't even fling the thing. <laughs> it's too laggy. He's throwing kettlebells at you. Look out. And and do these little... Oh gosh, I shouldn't have moved him. I shouldn't have moved him. Do these things on his back shoot weapons or something? I can't... I can't even... I can't even... I can't even control him, Melon. He's just too much. For whatever reason, he's so laggy. And I don't... I don't understand it. Whoa, Melon, why is it so bright? Okay, this next one, Melon, uh, there's a reason why it's so bright. I know the reason, okay? I'm just trying to mess with you. Anyway, this next one 
is uh, something I've had for a while that I think you're going to really like, mainly because uh, I know how you like to be terrified out of your mind and then scream and cry because you're about to be eaten. And that's what this next one's going to do. This, this next one is called the FBV Robot, and it's totally different than some things I've seen so far. He is a gigantic robot, obviously, and he's made of robot parts. And he looks absolutely terrifying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that face. Could you imagine? Oh man. Anyway, Melon, FBV robot. He wants to make your queens FBV. Can you, can you shake? Can you shake your hand? Say hi. Yeah, no, no. Don't, don't pet him. Just say hi to him. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, you're hungry? Uh oh, Melon. You better run away. Dude, okay, here we go. I'm gonna see if he can actually eat, eat melon. Here comes his head. Yeah, here we, get your freaking hands out of the way so we can see what's happening. Get him out of the way. Okay, bring him, bring, bring, bring him, bring him, bring him back, bring your head back down here. All right, let's try this again. I froze his hands in place. So hopefully not, oh crap. Now he can't, <laughs> now he can't get him even. Okay, hey melon, can you come, can you come over here please? <laughs> Melon, stand right there and take and just take a deep breath, okay? Take a deep breath. Okay, Melon, you've evaded it so far. It's very hard to get this thing to eat things, apparently. But I guess if he's a robot, does he really even need to eat people? He's maybe an android. He's some kind of hybrid Z thing. That, oh, there he goes. Yeah, Melon, Melon. Okay, it. So FBV robot. He looks pretty cool but uh he's not able to eat anything it just is very terrifying he's designed to destroy not eat well it was another successful day of eating melons and <laughs> making watermelon smoothies and <laughs> enjoying oh <gasps> does he wait wait do you have something in your mouth <gasps> oh put a laser beam in your mouth that would that would have been a lot better to zap melon with let me let's get melon back one time <laughs> one more melon uh i don't know what that weapon is and so we need to find out. The only way to do that is to take it and shoot it down. Nope, is it? No! Yeah. Oh, melon! Oh, melon! What happened to you? Okay, let me zoom out a little bit more. We can make sure we see. Dude, get your arms out of the way. Freaking. You, what do you like waving? He's so derpy. He's just like constantly waving his arms around like an idiot okay well apparently i can't even do that anyway melon is done and this is cool today we discover something that i've never seen before we discover the largest creatures to ever exist in this game and i save the best for last this is the skinwalker oh man you know the skinwalker terrifying looking creature he's actually pretty amazing looking does he move oh yeah there he goes you, oh, you move really good can we open does his mouth open up can he eat your face oh no his mouth doesn't open but you know what he's got these huge claw thingies that could totally like crush them oh we got some juices flowing already things are very violent in this game it gets very violent quicker can we can, what about these spike things on his back Oh, he just kind of went through him. He's riding him. This kind of interesting. Yeah, there you go. You want to take him? You want to take him away? He's taking him back to his lair. Oh, never mind. He's just gonna trample him. Please have mercy. Look at this. Just think. Oh, that's just not. That's not right. There's, we got lots of problems. You know what's worse than a normal crab? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a freaking lava crab that can eat your head. Oh, here he is. Look at him. He's apparently he's all sparkly and shiny. He's, he can apparently he can eat heads and. And, uh, we gotta discover how 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 you how do you make that how do you make that happen? Oh wait wait what the heck you can make I can make him walk. Look at him. Whoa he's gonna crush him. Yeah uh, oh he's freaking out. Uh, how do I get his head to eat him though? I thought at first they were like pistons and you could like put in there and then he'd like you know move his mouth closed but. I don't actually think they're pistons. Wait, are they? What are they? What are these? Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Maybe we can just feed them to him. There we go. Oh, yeah. 
You happy? Are you happy now? What the heck? This thing might be my favorite one. Here it is. Look at his, his legs and stuff. It's pretty amazing. But check this thing out. Oh my. It's an apple bug. Some kind of apple monster. Look at his mouth. It's actually moving and stuff. Hey, you want to go for a ride? Come here. Come on up here. Oh, he's got like even like a little lip thing right there. There you go. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to eat him. Oh, look at him. He's, he's literally trying to devour him right now. That is freaking sweet. If I do it like this, open up. Here he comes. Oh, we missed him. Let's try it again. And you. There you go. Down the apple gullet you go. His head is too his head is too heavy for him. He keeps like impaling him with like this little tiny weird apple core spike thingy here. This thing's a like, really cool. This is a really cool creation. There you go. Now close it on him. There you go. Munch him up. Yum, yum, yum. Oh yeah, that that seemed to work. You walk on him too. Yum. Step on him. Shum. Oh, he's missing. Oh, there he goes. He totally got him that time. This is not a fruit game. This is beyond. This is fruit juice, actually. He's a he's some kind of melon or something. Some kind of maybe he's an apple. Yo. Oh, the apple bug is so awesome. Kind of looks like he's got coconut eyes. Oh no. Oh, this guy's life is about to be over uh, because this is the elder mimic oh man it's got like a sans face looking going on he's got these huge claw thingies oh dear come over here let me touch you in the face tell you a story about how when i was a kid i i used to eat all kinds of people every day well, villages villages full of people just for fun come here let me t come here come closer come closer to me <laughs> yeah there you go he actually spike him oh he totally can oh i forgot how gruesome people play around this this is don't use it you know like the fruit games and everything they're not this bad but like this is on a whole other level over here of course it couldn't be one of these videos where we're talking about something giant unless we included one of our most favorite and amazing giant creatures. It's your boy, Siren Head. Oh, yeah. It's actually one of the best looking Siren Heads I think I've seen in this game. Now, does he actually activate, though? What the? He's shooting something from his face? Okay. Oh, there he goes. The only problem is I don't know, I'm, I don't know how to shut him off. He's probably just going to keep buzzing this whole time. I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay. Let's see how tall he actually is because he's kind of hunched over a little bit. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine this? Can you imagine this? Can you imagine this? Oh my gosh. Look out down there, dude. <laughs> You're about to get your fingers, gangly fingers, right through your head with the siren head thing going. Oh, he's picking him up. Yeah. He's raising him up to his face. Oh, he was going to activate for a second, but he forgot. You know, it's interesting for some reason I can't freeze his his body. So I just freeze this freeze the guy right there. We're going to bring him closer. Here we go. Ready? And oh, oh, yeah. I don't know what that stinking Sonic Blast is, but clearly Sonic, uh, Sonic, <laughs> Sonic Head, Siren Head is eating, is about to eat him. Now this is where we start getting into some really big ones. I'm sure you've heard of Skibbity Toilet. I'm sure you've heard of the cameraman, the TV man. But have you ever heard of the TV demon? <laughs> Look at him, he's got a mouth and everything. He's awesome looking. Look, he's, he's probably about the same size as Siren Head actually. But that mouth, yeah, you could totally eat. Can you turn this TV on? Oh, hello? Oh, whoa. I didn't even know that that happened. Okay. Well, okay. We get, we're not going to watch that. I want to see if he can eat this guy. Oh, yeah. Here he comes. Oh, he can totally eat him. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. That was brutal. Okay. The guy's clearly got some problems. He's, uh... He, no, he's okay. He's totally fine. Look at these long Wendigo arms over here. He can totally... He can totally use these though to shum, give him a little little suture, little, you know, he's performing surgery. Let's just put it that way. He's uh, He's got to slice up his uh, his food before he eats it. What the heck is this? Look at him, he's dancing. Yeah, get, get it on me. Let's see. He plays the TV and he just starts dancing. Hmm. Oh, I thought for a second that he lost his head. He didn't lose his head yet. Look at, all that. Look at that reach. 
Wow, he's he can reach really far. The crush. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, okay. He's all right. He's he's okay. Don't worry about him. Just a bunch of people minding their ordinary daily life in their house, sitting at tables <laughs> and sleeping in beds, <laughs> and you know, I don't know, looking at their collection of liquids. All of a sudden, some kind of gigantic siren starts going off. That's because there is a very colossal creature on his way to destroy this facility. Oh, Project Titan, look at this giant thing. Oh, no. The world as they know it is about to end. And the giant titan just destroying houses left and right. Oh, look, there's a guy on his arm. That's how big this thing is. That is, that is very, very dangerous. Wait, hold on. We went into slow motion. It's off. Nope, it's back on. Stinking sirens are so loud, man. Turn it off. Thank you. Jeez. It's like got light bulbs on him and stuff. He's on. The thing's hot, red hot. Anything that touches it turns to melted people. Like, let's just see. We put this down here. Oh, yeah. He's getting sizzly. He got a light bulb right on his butt. Oh, no. <gasps> there is one that I forgot to actually show you. That is about the same size as Siren Head. A little bit bigger. But we have to show him to you because he's actually amazing. This guy right here is the wood god. He's completely made out of wood. And he has a face and everything. There's there's his teeth right there. See him? Maybe not. That's his mouth. He can totally eat people. And he's made out of wood. Which means he probably can't, like, move that well. He can't walk as well. But, dude, he, he literally can't move at all. Can you can I pick him up? There he goes. Which uh, means, though, he has gigantic clubs for fingers and hands. And so he can totally just obliterate everything he's like a giant tree ant and then you know his big legs oh my gosh these things are heavy they weigh so much can't even oh he can jump okay that that definitely makes him able to do some damage but can he eat stuff like why would a tree eat people well let's find out nope he can't eat he apparently can't eat people he's actually his mouth isn't that big this is one of the largest buildings in the game and down here is Siren Head, right? He's he's fairly large, but he's actually, you know, not that, like, giant. Now, there is a creature that is uh, very, very, very large, as you can see. Here's here's Siren Head next to him. He's, he's very different in size, but this one isn't even the tallest one. There's one that's even taller. Look at these big, giant, like, club fists he has smashing siren head like it's nothing sending him flying into the building this thing is called the lighthouse look at this light tail he's got some kind of weird creature and then here's his face does that remind you of uh anything like doors or uh freaking uh stranger things that thing for stranger things look at this gargantuan beast he's all he's made of metal so you can like totally just rip through all kinds of things. Buildings stand it no chance in his way. He can totally destroy him easily. Create an entire thing of rubble in seconds. And that mouth clearly is able to eat stuff. Just as a frame of reference and how big he is, here he is. And here's the little guy down here. Oh my goodness. He is very small. <laughs> here comes the mouth to eat the human. How many humans would he have to eat in order to be like satisfied? It's, you know, it's like a whale. He's got to consume like the whole ocean a day just so he can actually feel full although he's just like most other big things he has a really hard time eating small things so really i don't know what this thing maybe eats maybe other monsters the next creature is so large that he like just straight up lags the game like you can barely load him in here's the lighthouse right one of the coolest looking things i've seen in this game and over here is the monolith the monolith is Gi freaking gigantic and that's his head that is the weirdest thing i think i've seen ever 
Look at the size difference. Oh my. I, I have to imagine this thing is like the largest creature, although there might be even larger. But the thing is, is that the monolith, he has some really interesting things going on. I'm going to delete this guy so as to help with like lag somewhat because really we have to have some semblance of movement so I can see this. He has these weird long tentacle arm things. Look at that. There's so many of them. I don't even know how it works. How is this even possible? And each one is independent of the other? Has like a weird War of the Worlds tentacle stranger things feel to it, you know? And then like reminds me of some kind of weird alien octopus. So clearly he is uh, able to do things. And is he, are these his feet? Oh no, he's just like planted in the ground. And he's got like weird gangly, like mono tubes coming out of him and stuff. I don't know what these tubes are for. What is the mono monolith? Is it like a, it's a real creature? I mean, clearly. He's got arms and moves and stuff, but is it like, I don't even, I don't even know. What, what does he do? Does he suck, make a black hole here and suck people in his face or where's his eyes? Anyway, out of the, all the creatures that you saw in today's video, which is your favorite? This thing right here, I'll just show you, is probably my favorite because it's so crazy looking. This thing is amazing. Anybody else agree? Comment below. Do you like the wood god, the monolith, the apple bug, the elder mimic, siren head, TV demon, project titan skinwalker, head eating crab, lighthouse? I don't know. Comment below. I think I just found the most extreme melon I've ever seen. Everybody knows melon. But what you might not know is that melon uh, had an accident where a part of his body popped off and then it started to grow and grow bigger and bigger and then this thing formed. This is the great giant melon worm and as you can see it moves like a snake worm thing and not only that he's got crazy spiky teeth things which i'm sure will hurt melon over here oh yeah that's not terrifying or anything i feel pretty bad for what's about to happen to the melon boy over here let's just oh it, it poked itself it's okay let's try it on the melon man and uh, yeah oh make Making some melon smoothie. Let's get another melon. Actually, how about an apple? Let's just kind of go crazy. Ready? Yeah! Oh! <laughs> apple sauce for sure. So this is corn. We've all seen corn and we've seen many different versions of corn. But what you've never seen is this version of corn. Look at that big thing. But it's not just a big piece of corn. Oh no. Something is growing out of it. Something hideous. And disgusting it's the giant flame corn sea dragon <laughs> it's such a random thing but literally this is his head and the corn tail over here and it's apparently a sea dragon but i have him on land and he has does he have a flamethrower in his mouth he totally does hold on yeah he does <laughs> Yes. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna fry up. We're gonna have a corn roast. Listen, we've we've made popcorn before, but we've never made this much popcorn. We're gonna get a whole bunch of corns over. Is that a baby corn? A whole bunch of corns over here. It's okay if they're on top of each other. It doesn't matter because we're gonna make the world's biggest bowl of popcorn. I don't even know. I've never done this before, so this is definitely a first. I don't know if this has ever been done at all in this game by anybody ever. But I'm gonna be the first to make some crazy amounts of popcorn over Okay, I might have I might have broke my game. I think we're okay. I think we might be fine. Let's go ahead and let's activate the flamethrower. Maybe, I, I don't even know if I'll be able to. Okay, we'll, we'll try this again. This time we won't uh, make them be all crazy and t together like that. There we go. It's still lagging a ton. I guess making popcorn isn't the greatest thing to do in this game. Look at all those juicy kernels. I love it. Pop me some popcorn for my movies tonight. <laughs> I, I love popcorn. Well, we need butter. Lots of butter. Banana. Banana. Banana cat. <laughs> the banana cat's here. So we made a banana cat. And, you know, I have just the thing for this banana cat. And that is a lava bomb. 
Well, that it is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. That thing's gigantic. Hold on. Let's put them right on the top. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow we're going to follow Banana Cat. What is Banana How where did Banana Cat even come from? Like who who came up with Banana Cat? Anyway, let's see what happens in 3 2 1. Oh, Banana Cat. <laughs> Jeez. Banana Cat. Uh, what happened to you? We need to do that again, but this time we need to zoom out a little bit more and we're going to put a whole bunch of Banana Cats in. And I, I need to see if these banana cats have banana juices in them. Because if they don't have banana juices, then they're not true bananas. And, hold on, let's slow it down. Okay, and here we go. What kind of explosion is that? There's definitely no banana juices coming out of these banana cats. It's more like watermelon juices. Uh, okay, well... That's how you cook yourself some bananas. Normally, a whole group of zombie melons walking at you would be terrifying, but not for Pumpkin, because Pumpkin has a brand new weapon. It's called the Knockout Gun, and apparently it's extremely powerful. So let's see what happens, shall we, when the Knockout Gun is activated. Okay, let them get closer. Don't fire until you see the dead in their eyes. Okay, what the heck? <laughs> People don't just make normal guns anymore. They just go for like the most extreme thing you can, which is fine by me. I like it. Look, it just evaporates them. Literal disintegration before our eyes. Like, I don't even know. Hold on, I did that wrong. There we go. It look, look, they don't just dis they don't just like go flying. They literally disappear. It, they go into another universal dimension. Whoa, look at freaking hypersonic over here. He looks amazing. Does he do anything though? No, he he doesn't he doesn't do anything. I mean just it was all rainbow hypersonic. But I do have this weapon that I have no idea what it does. It's called the green periestron. It's like a sword. But it's, it works like an axe, he says. Oh, got it in his toe. Where are you going to run to now, Sonic? But it also fires lasers, apparently. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh. Hey, I just said nobody makes normal guns anymore. And then somebody made a pretty normal weapon. And it allows us to slowly but surely destroy Sonic. But that's not fast enough for me. So let me go ahead and let me... What kind of... What kind of... Whip, what kind of explosives do we have here we got uh the acid bomb the void bomb okay let's do that void bomb oh it's very colorful just like sonic here we go and it's going to count down and then we watch as hypersonic goes flying there what's that is that a leg <laughs> there's his leg bye bye he's he's gone hyper speed gone over here although something just fell what was that a part of your head or something, your hand or something? The other day we witnessed something truly hideous come coming to the game. It was the Melon SCP-096, where Melon Boy over here had some testing done to him in a laboratory, and he evolved into this nightmare creature. Look at this. But what if I told you that SCP-096 Melon also mutated? And they grew that into something else too. Well, that's exactly what I have for you today. This is the Ultra Mega Mutanted. It's called Mutanted. Mutanted Melon. And oh my goodness, it is absolutely hideous. Look at the size difference though. Amazing. And look at the melon heads on his back oh gosh oh and he's got red melons on his heads he's just a bunch of heads that's all it is just tons of heads uh look look at how much bigger he is it's amazing but what we need to see is what he can do he's got these big hands and arms look at that and then he's got like spikes and tons of weapons in it that people have tried to take him out and it clearly failed and he's got a big melon hand which it, again it's just a bunch of heads. They just took a bunch of melons and mashed it together, put it in some kind of machine, and then out popped this crazy thing. It's got a crazy looking tongue. I mean, it, this is on a whole different level from the last one. It's just crazy. The two things we must do. 
We must first test his hand out against the melon boy. He just took a leg off like it was nothing. Okay, let's try that again with another melon. Yum. Yum. Oh, yeah. Got him. Okay. And then the next thing that we must do. Can we... Can he... Can his mouth actually move? His mouth cannot move. So we need to try to feed a melon to him. Okay. Let me... Let me get rid of this real fast. What the heck is happening? Here we go. Get in there. Oh. He just flies right in his face hole. He doesn't actually take any damage. Which is... Which happens sometimes. The only thing that actually takes... Causes any damage is this hand right here. Oh, yeah. And he slaps him with the other one. He's trying to eat him. Take that, melon boy. Yeah. It's actually immune to it as well. The only hand that does anything is this one. Freaking nightmare. Well, I'm very selective with my melons these days when I go to the store. I don't, I, I make sure, literally, I think about this game when I go into the store and I see a watermelon. I think, okay, is that melon, like, gonna mutate and attack people or what? And uh, now I have this thing to be worried about in my nightmares.